underscoring the importance of his party's final call for democracy march on Sunday, the illegally incarcerated former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, said on Thursday that the country has become a banana republic. He said, in quote, Pakistan has been turned into a banana republic. Democracy, the constitution and the rule of law have been budded in this country. High courts have been rendered powerless like the district courts where no one will get justice. Imran Khan questioned the seriousness of Pakistan's powerful quarters, who he said he was negotiating with around his four-point agenda. He said, and quote, I received a message suggesting that if the protest is postponed by 10 days, negotiations can begin. Among our demands, the release of innocent political prisoners is an immediate actionable demand. However, leaders detained in Lahore have been imprisoned for a year and a half under false charges. Their release would have been a suitable step towards serious negotiations. Imran Khan was ordered released on bail by the Islamabad High Court on Wednesday only for Pakistan's military regime to implicate him in another frivolous case to prolong his incarceration. Mr Khan has been held now for 474 days by the military regime in Pakistan. Former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan, an ardent supporter of peace, has raised serious concerns about the growing threat of terrorism in the country while condemning the military government in the country for its failed policies. Speaking to reporters inside a makeshift courtroom inside Adyala Jail, where he's being held, Imran Khan said, and quote, Mere military operations are not the solution to any problem. It is necessary to have political engagement along with that. Pakistan Tariq Insaf is the only national political party that is capable of dealing politically with the problem of terrorism in the country. Only political forces with a public mandate can keep the country together." Unquote. Since the ousting of Imran Khan's government in a soft coup in April 2022, Pakistan has witnessed a sharp increase in terror attacks, leading to a significant loss of life among civilians and frontline security forces. The surge in violence has reached record levels, further destabilizing the country. In the last two days, over 60 civilians and soldiers were killed in separate attacks. Pakistan's police are targeting supporters of Imran Khan in raids across the country before Sunday's a democracy march. In the Punjab province, police are conducting night raids and vandalizing the homes of Pakistan Tehreek in South members of the parliament as well as local office bearers. During a police raid in Narawal, a PTI worker Yasser Mali was killed by the police as he attempted to evade abduction. Yasser Mali's son said in an interview that his father was pelted with a brick by police which resulted in his death. Scores have been killed extrajudicially by the security forces of Pakistan over the last two years in similar raids and crackdowns on protests. Despite the reign of terror, Mr Khan's party and supporters have vowed to reach Islamabad for the final call, Democracy March, on Sunday. The International Criminal Court on Thursday issued arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and former Defense Minister Yuaf Gallant, as well as Hamas military chief Mohammed Daif. The Hague-based ICC said in a statement, and quote, The chamber issued warrants of arrest for two individuals, Benjamin Netanyahu and Yuaf Gallant, for crimes against humanity and war crimes committed from at least October 8, 2023 until at least May 20, 2024, the day the prosecution filed the applications for warrants of arrest. And Coat. The arrest warrants had been classified as secret to protect witnesses and to safeguard the conduct of the investigations, the court said. The Israeli genocide in Gaza has led to 44,056 Palestinians killed, mostly women and children.